That's right, Mobile well, Gamers! Today we're going to learn how to set up our R4 card that says real-time save on the front. It also says www.r4isdhc.com on the motherboard on the back. Now the color doesn't matter if it says gold on the front or light or dual core. That does not matter. As long as the motherboard says this, then we're good to go. We are going to set this up with our Android phone. No way! Isn't that magical? Yes, we're going to set it up with our Android phone now. The one thing that I like to use for this is this little adapter right here. This little adapter is pretty cheap. It's very good to actually have for those that don't have a phone that has an SD card slot. My phone does have an SD card slot, but a lot of phones these days do not. I'm using a Samsung S9 no, 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 20 plus on this guide. If you didn't understand that, it was a Note 20 plus. Now we're going to be using a Samsung device most Android phones have the ability to read data from a micro USB to SD card adapter like this. I will put a link in the description below for you to go buy one of those. It's going to be an affiliate link, of course, for Amazon. That's where I bought mine. And I think it was only like 10 to $15 ish, if I remember correctly. So buy one of these. The next thing you're going to need is a 32 gigabyte or below SD card. Now you can't format anything above 32 gigabytes to FAT32, and that's why I always recommend to use a 32 gigabyte card. You're going to plug this right into your adapter, just like so. Now you're going to plug your adapter into the bottom of your phone, just like so. Now on our phone, you're going to navigate to your file manager of choice, so whatever your file manager is, mine is my files, mine is a Samsung phone, so I'm just going to use this, and I'm going to navigate to my USB storage, which is right here, and I'm going to click on the three dots just like so, and click Format. Now this is going to format this properly the way that it's supposed to be formatted. Now the next thing you're going to do is navigate to the link in the description below and download the Twilight Menu R4 RTS 2024.zip file. You're going to navigate inside that file and you're going to extract all of these files somewhere on your device. Now make sure you know where you're extracting them to and that's why a little dialog window is going to pop up that says extract file to this exact folder. Now, as you can see, my Samsung device did a good job. It actually extracted my files correctly. So we're going to grab all of these files again, select all, click copy, and we're going to navigate over to our internal storage. We're going to keep going back until we see our main storage area. And we're going to navigate into our USB storage right here and copy all the files in there. Now you're going to navigate to wherever your games are located. Mine are on my internal storage in my my fave games folder. And you're going to copy all of the NDS files. Now I'm going to change my type to show only my NDS files and then my .sav files. So I'm going to grab my NDS games. Just like so, click copy, go all the way back home, go to my USB storage, go to my ROMs folder. And then paste all of my ROMs in the .nds file folder, just like so. Now you're going to notice that there's a saves folder inside of here as well. The reason for this is because we're going to be able to save or load all of our saves into this folder as well. So let's go home, go back to our internal storage, go to your folder wherever your saves are located, and grab all of these saves right here. Just like so, click copy, go home, go to your USB storage, ROMs, NDS, and saves. Now you only need to copy your saves for NDS games into this folder. If you have saves for GBA games, for example, they all just go in this main GBA folder. They are all just sitting there, just all dandy like candy on a hot summer day with some lemonade. Okay, now we're ready to go. We can unplug our USB-C adapter from our Android phone don't restart it because Samsung, you're sometimes dumb. Now we're going to grab our micro SD card out of this adapter, throw this in the garbage, and we're going to plug this into our R4 card, just like so. Now we're going to grab our DS Lite, because yes, it works for the DS Lite, by the way, and the NDS and the DSi and all that fun jazz. And we're going to turn it on. Now you're going to see Bomberman Land Nintendo. Press A to play. And you'll be presented with the Twilight Menu all day. Yes, you can set up Twilight Menu with your Android. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about Twilight Menu, then check the playlist in the link in the description below. 
This was just a quick and easy guide to set up Twilight Menu using your Android device rather than a PC. Jump over to the Twilight Menu guide linked below that's in a playlist. Check out the timestamps if you want to learn how to use cheats and set up all your stuff for Twilight Menu for your R4 card. Because it really is an awesome, 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 awesome card. I love you all.